Hi, how are you? This is Marilyn again. I've got my watercolors here to share with you. And uh, just a little, little info on watercolors. I started my whole art career in watercolors. That's what's was my passion. My mother was an artist. She painted in watercolors all the time. So I grew up going to her classes when I was seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and and we went outside and painted together. So I just loved going out and painting in watercolors. It's easy to carry, and it was just fun to travel with her, and it was a really good time I had with her. So that was my beginning, and um, so I, that was that was my whole start was always painting in watercolors. And I would go every morning when I lived in San Francisco and in in Santa Barbara. I'd go every morning put my paints in the car and just go paint, just go find the light somewhere and just go paint outside. This was before anybody saw anybody outside painting. This was in 73, 74, and then uh, moved to Santa Barbara, 75, and then my son was born in 77. I remember taking him outside with me as a little baby when he was sleeping and take him out and I'd sneak in a painting while he was sleeping. But it was a, it was a skill, that's how you get good, is going out and painting from life every day. The more you can paint from life, the better you're gonna get. So, uh, and, and, and it is harder to paint in watercolors than it is in oils. Be, and I know the difference. When I, trans, when I transitioned from watercolors to oils, it was just so easy, very, very easy to do. It's much more difficult to go the other way from oils to watercolors. So this painting was done in 2015. I've had it here because I love it. And it uh, was done on location in Rocamandour, France, southern France. I taught a class there in 2015. And uh, it was freezing cold that day. Uh, I remember I had a jacket on. I just couldn't get warm. But anyway, I squeaked, I squeaked that out. And um, it's, just, it's just a fun little jewel. Love that. Rocamandour, France. A little uh, 7 by 10. And this was on the same trip. This was in Cirque La Poppy. This was done on location too. We actually, it wasn't so cold that day. It was beautiful and um, I just love the architecture there. This is right on the Dordogne, on the Dordogne River in Lot, in the Dordogne Valley in southern France. Just absolutely gorgeous area. And this guy was done in uh, Pontevin, which was Paul Gauguin's town and all the French artists there were all Gauguin wannabes <laughs> on government grants and so when Ted and I showed up there to paint they had they didn't see too many real painters <laughs> so they followed us around one video taped me from the beginning to the end of my my painting anyway it was fun we had a good time there Pontevin this is in Brittany France and this, of course, is Portofino, our favorite, favorite, favorite place. Let me put it in the light here. This is our favorite place in Italy. We were just there in 17, 2017, and um, just, a, just a wonderful little port. And on watercolor, the, one of the reasons watercolor is harder is the white of the paper is sacred. It's kind of like a sculpture will sculpt a shape out of wood or stone or whatever. He sees the shape. The same in watercolor. You're carving the white out of the paper. So even these boat masts, I'm actually leaving white and painting around. And I use a palette knife too. Sometimes I scratch it out like that, like right here, and do, do wires and stuff with my palette knife in watercolor. And if you want to see um, some watercolor demos and complete beginning to end paintings, you can go on my webpage. And um, there's some in my store. I have, some, I have uh, four watercolors and two oil DVD instructional videos. So and here, here we have the Lake Como. This is what I do a lot. I'll take a California foreground and put an Italian background in. And boy, is that a good combination because you got the flowers of California and the beautiful architecture and the water of Lake Como in the background anyway. So that was fun. And uh, I probably that's probably my favorite place to paint is Lake Como. So here's a picture of my husband, Donnie George. He is such a, I love him so much. This is we are painting in France <laughs> and doing watercolors. And I had those crazy chairs that, gave, that ruined my back. I had to throw those chairs away. But you can't paint sitting like that for very long anyway. And anyway, that was fun. So um, Donnie's standing here. Do you have any questions? Yeah, Marilyn, you mentioned to me, I remember that um, watercolors, galleries don't 
really care to host watercolor? So, yes. Well, and you, you ask why, right? I mean, one of the reasons, well, the biggest reasons that galleries are hesitant to sell watercolors is they're being in glass, number one, so there's reflections. And also, the number two, watercolors on paper. And most people can't tell the difference between a print and original watercolor, so they're a little skeptical about it. So my whole career in watercolor, when I married Ted, which was in 88, I asked him every year if I could paint in oils. <laughs> and he said no. So I didn't want to be a Marion Wichtel and wait till my husband passes away before I paint in oils. I was going to, I wanted to paint in oils right away. Because number one, while I was making a, a, a fortune in prints and we're doing a lot of workshops then teaching Scottsdale Art School, teaching all over the country. And, but, uh, I just kept on getting closed doors, or not closed doors, but just a limited amount of galleries that show watercolors. And I'm very prolific and I paint all the time. So I had always had inventory. So after 10 years, he finally said yes. And then I, and I started painting in oils and it was like being let loose in a way. It was so easy, such an easy transition. But the difference in watercolors and oils um, is in watercolors, you're going from light to dark. The dark is your thickest paint in watercolors. In oils, it's the opposite. In oils, you're going from dark to light. Your thickest paint is the light in the oils. So, uh, and believe it or not, it's easier to paint on location in oils and watercolors because when you squeeze your paint out in oils, it stays there like, like peanut butter. But in watercolor, you're always mixing. So it's just a lot more mixing in watercolor than oils. So, um, and that's it. You know, I've been loving oils. I love going back and forth to both of them. And it's just, it's just really, really fun. So thank you so much for listening and uh, hopefully see you on my webpage and the Pepsi webpage and um, enjoy. Thank you. Very good.